for Mr. Fix-It, powered by your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers. Mr. Fix-It is here. Good morning, Lou. Good morning. Good How are person. you? Good. I've got a couple of solutions for maybe some problems that people have that mm -hmm. drive them crazy. And the biggest one, I was talking with a, a woman yesterday about a major mold issue that uh, she was having up in her roof. Okay. So she went up in her attic space and saw all this mold on the backside and wanted a recommendation for a professional. And mm -hmm. there are plenty of companies to do that. But I want to give you, if this is an issue that you're having, some things that you can do immediately so that you can solve the problem and kind of rest easy until yeah. someone gets there. This is a product called Concrobium Mold Control. I've talked about this product on the show before. It is, it, oh, they hate when I say this, but I could put this in a shot glass and you could drink it and it would be <laughs> safe for you to drink. It tastes terrible, but you could. I don't want you to do that. Nobody's drinking do anything. But what it is, it's a sodium carbonate mix. And when you spray it on mold or mildew, in, on porous surfaces, mm -hmm. it, it crushes it, it kills it right away. Great. Now, a lot of people reach for bleach and water. Bleach actually, is because it's so much water, adds to the problem. So start with this first. Okay. Once this dries, this is a mold killing paint. And uh, this, oh, see, I had to move it, I had to move it. You told me not to touch it and I had to move it. See? All right. Okay, here, I'm going a little closer. There you go. Now, this is a, <laughs> now is the focus, I'm sorry. Mold killing primer, and what you do is this, you could use this on the area that's discolored, okay. and you don't like how it looks. Yeah. You don't wanna just paint over it. But I would rather you do the cleaner first and then do this mold killing primer. I just brought a quart here just to carry it, but they come in gallons as well. And it's actually a tintable color, so mm. if your bathroom or an area is not white, mm -hmm. you can make it a color as well. Outside, mildew and mold. Um, you may be noticing, I mean, right now we've got a cover of snow, but in a couple of weeks, you may notice that your patio, uh, the deck, has some areas where there's some buildup of organic materials. Yeah. This is a product called Wet and Forget, and this is pre-mixed, but they also make a concentrate. They also have one that you put on the end of a hose end. Mm -hmm. You have to be very careful when you apply this to organic materials around the area. Sure. So if it's a patio with bushes and grass, wet that down first, yeah. then you take this product and, and you wet it and forget it. In 30 days, yeah. it works with the rain that Paul will forecast and the wind and it chews up all that organic material and it's gone. Patios, decks, roofs, you name it, you can Great. use it on there. Um, glass shower door at your house? Yes. How's it looking? Hey, yeah, right, no. right. You can't get anything <laughs> off of it. Yeah. This is a product um, called Bright and Clean. And what you do with this, it's a powder. You put it on a microfiber damp towel. Okay. And you wipe it on the glass back and forth. It'll be sparkling clean. Right. And finally, for the, those with teenagers that have uh, take the showers forever, yes. this is a switch you're going to replace on your fan. It's going to sense the moisture in the bathroom. Oh, nice. Okay. And even when you head off to work, it keeps the fan and running until the moisture level comes down so you don't need any of these products hey. to treat mildew and mold. All right, good tips, I'm Lou. Done. Thank you. <laughs> you can check out Lou a House Smarts on Saturday afternoons on WGN at 3.30. Lou is also on WGN Radio with his show House Smarts Radio. Well, listen tomorrow. Good show tomorrow. All right. Catch it on Saturdays Extra from special. 6 to 10 a.m. That was a good tease, Lou. Thank you. Hey, Paul. <laughs> hey there. It's Friday. We have